Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And giving us the rundown from the sideline, David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Thank you, Kevin. The NBA flattened the draft lottery odds in 2019. And last season, an inch. And I love it, David. I got to tell you, got to give them a lot of credit. Thank you for that report. Here we go. Now the starting group for the visitors. They've got Blunt. Drew is out there with Concat. And it's Jenkins in at the four slot. Here's Blunt. Shoots from the right block. And no good. Trying to use the glass. And that one is good. Greg, you were drafted 12th. about early expectations as a first round pick well you know everyone wants to see what you got in reality also you want to see what you have against the best players in the world so it some time though to adapt to the speed of the game but ultimately it's about going out and competing on our at and 5g slam cam you just saw an explosive highlight passes it to newton driving the lane offensive rebound pass to holland Second shot opportunity, and the jumper is good. Six points for him. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Right. And, and everybody out of the way. I mean, clear the lane. We've got some rims to wrap. What a sensational play to get to the rack for the slam. Strong interior move. Aggressive, assertive, and effective. Oh! Ooh. Yes, sir! Come on! Bring it! And he dunks it down. Wow! And that... Showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. Hey, guys, I know there are a lot of questions right now defensively for this team. There's no doubt about that. So it's the visitors now. Six-point game. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. 
And he's got his first free throw of the game. First team foul. No good on that one. At the line for the away team, Jonathan Blunt. And he sinks the second. For Fresno, they've gone four of five from the field so far. Kicks it to Bennett. There's the pass to Holland. It's good from one ring. and I both teams working to stretch the floor nothing like answering back one team gets three you fire three of your own boom after Bennett and Conkac pulls it down on two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Blunt can't get it to go. Fresno's leading by five. Pass to Newton. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. left in the first quarter. Number three, first personal foul. We have got to see Second that sensational foul. mobile one block again. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you got to love that energy. There's a minute 40 left in the first. Pope the pass to Purdue. Dishes to Nelson. Here's Pope. And they've done a nice job controlling the defensive backboard to start this game. Not one second chance bucket allowed. That is finishing off good defense. Pass to Newton. Out to the wing. Kicks to Hollins. Shoots the three. Hope with the rebound. Being well off their usual numbers around 29% so far. To the wing on the left. Here's Adrian. It's rebounded by Fresno. In their meetings last year, they split the season series. Happens a fair amount between teams from the East and West. And, you know, when you only see a team twice a year, it's hard to really get a good understanding of who they are or a good feel for them. And oftentimes, that can lead to a situation. Pass to Hollins. Pass to Higgins. There's the three. The three. And the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in. And it's Fresno in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. And we'll be back. If you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And from what we've seen from Fresno so far, what's your take? 
Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. They've got Konkak, and it's Brady in at the five to the left side wing. Here's Jenkins. Can't cash in on the 10-foot jump. Fresno's leading by nine. Passes to Newton. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And Greg, some star big men have complained that they get hacked all game long. But they're not getting the foul calls these guards do on the perimeter. I'd have to agree, Kevin. I mean, and on a lot of those fouls, the guards get three free throws. So something the league might want to take a look at. Here's Blunt. Misses off the right eye. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker no, for him, no. though. I mean... That's a shot he expects to make every time. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse. The away team ball. Coming onto the floor for the away team, Judd Drew. Unloads from 13. And Owens pulls it down. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Barry's the one. Long-range jumper. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. And Willie Green wants a timeout. I tell you, they were drawing a lot of iron from the perimeter. Couldn't get the threes to go down and really the story of the game. And, you know, that's a big part of how they attack and win, getting it going from the three-point line. But at the end of the day, it didn't happen. And he gets the bucket. His hard work on the back court really just has given them more opportunities to score. And we've got a moment now to look at the highest scoring teams in the NBA from last season. Yeah, number one in the league in terms of points per game a season ago. They play as a team. Just really unselfish in terms of their brand of basketball. Jonathan and Blunt Blunt. gets it to go. Sensational ball Vinny movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. Let's it go from deep. That's down the hash. That's one more to it. footer is right on the mark. Jenkins. Jenkins got his first two points. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. 
Boy, you gotta love that action. Driving inside. Man, that one is stuck right through. He's gonna put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. Starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go. Maybe it is showtime. And why not? A little salt in the wound. The more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys reeling and on the ropes. Strong <laughs> to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Yeah, you know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. Kicks it to Hollins. Inside, here's Bennett and Bennett. Throws it down. 